All right, guys, Justin West here, and this is just a quick little video on how to get the keyword planner back. Now, if you do SEO at all, <laughs> or pay per click management, or anything like that, uh, Google's recent change, which basically makes these all uh, abbreviated uh, ranges that are in the you know huge you know 100 to 1,000 or 1,000 to 100,000 or whatever it is, just ridiculous. Uh, it makes it really really hard to plan. Um, but I found a workaround, and it doesn't involve having to pay for anything. Now, I think if you want, you can go in and spend some money. I don't know exactly how much, and Google will open up that data to you as well. But there is another way around it, and it's actually very, very simple. As you can see, I have the AdWords tool pulled up right now. I just pulled this up, and I'm looking for keyword planner alternatives because, you know, why not? <laughs> uh, so here's what it looks like. I'm actually pull up, forgive me, Microsoft uh, Internet Explorer Edge, whatever it's called. I never use it, but it's uh, I'm not logged into it. So uh, here is the magic that makes this happen. So you want to go and you want to sign up, not for a regular AdWords account, but for an AdWords manager managerial account. Uh, so you want to go to google.com slash AdWords slash manager hyphen accounts in slash. I don't know if you need the trailing slash or not. I don't think you do, but that's where you want to go and you want to fill this out and you want to use a different email address than whatever your current AdWords account is um, because they can't be attached. For whatever reason, Google has makes you have to have multiple accounts for everything. They make it really, really confusing, and sometimes we all love to hate Google, but they're also, you know, <laughs> the the sacred cow. So um, we so you want to sign up here and do this. What you want to make sure you do is this right here to manage other people's accounts. So how will you use this AdWords manager account primarily to manage other people's accounts? The thinking on this, as far as I understand, if you use this one, you won't be able to get access to the tool without spending money. Uh, but if you use this one, you can. And the, the idea behind this is this. Google wants to make sure that the people who are accessing the keyword tool or keyword planner are people with skin in the game. So generally speaking, people who are already spending money on AdWords and showing that they're serious. However, uh, if you're going to be managing other people's accounts, then you need to um, have you know, you're going to be managing their money. You need to have all of the relevant data uh, at your disposal. Uh, and so going through the process of getting this account and getting permission and everything else is enough for Google to say you're probably legit and to let you go ahead and use this, the, the tool. Um, so here's basically what it looks like. So you want to go through, fill this stuff out. Uh, and again, you got to like down here, uh, enter accurately because for whatever reason, you can't change these later. So if you move time zones or whatever, then, you know, sorry, <laughs> you're stuck in central if you're in central even if you move to Aruba, but, uh, and then basically go through, you know, the next couple pages, I think they actually have you setting up a, an account and a few other things after this as well. It's a little awkward. It's, it's a little wonky to be quite honest, but, uh, just make sure you use a different email address and you use it to manage other people's accounts. And eventually you will get in here and actually what you will see will look like this. And you'll have a spot here to add an account. And so what you want to do is just go add a, an existing account and you enter in the ID. That's that 10 digit number that's up here in the top corner for the account you want to connect with. So you want to have written down that number beforehand and you add it in here and you hit continue and basically it'll request permission to manage from that account. So then what you need to do is go over to that account and click on the little gear that's up here in the corner and go to account settings. And once you do that, it'll bring up this page. You want to go to account access and down here you'll have a thing requesting permission to connect and you simply give it permission to connect and you are connected at which point you can use the little drop down menu here and jump inside of your account and once you've jumped inside of your account you have access to the magical keyword planner booyah <laughs> anyway hope you guys found this helpful um i don't know how long this will be available uh hopefully indefinitely but google is google and they do their own thing so you never know um, but anyway, I will uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.